An elegant lady maintains her mystique, her discretions, and her allure by never sharing these seven things. And ladies, I hope you're not sharing them too, because then you would be shooting yourself in the foot. I'm now going to present exactly what they are so that you don't do those mistakes. My dear elegant ladies, welcome back to a new video. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I post videos on everything about elegance, personal transformation and leveling up every Sunday. But now let's start with point number one. Elegant ladies never share their plans. Ladies, always move in silence. Never share what you're working towards or what you're planning on doing or what you're up to unless it has already manifested in your life. And I know that sometimes it can be tempting to talk about your next move because you get that little dopamine release every time you kind of share your plans and dreams with another person. But I want you to really hold back from doing this because there is a reason for this you're going to have a higher chance of manifesting your goals if you actually keep it to yourself. So spare yourself from any evil eye, toxic energy, and just generally speaking toxic people by not sharing to them what you're up to. So instead of spending your time talking about what you're gonna be doing, start doing what you should be doing, and like this, you're moving in silence and just showcasing when it has manifested. Do you prefer, by the way, when I put my ponytail in front or behind? Leave me a comment, please. Point number two, elegant ladies never share their finances. Now we all know, do not share your income, don't share your bank balance, and don't share how much savings you have in the account. And the reason for that is, well, many reasons actually. You don't want to let anyone know of your or your family's or your partner's financial situation because discretion is a key part of being elegant. So talking about all of these numbers and figures is just tacking inappropriate. And the reason for that is because number one, it might sound like you're bragging. Number two, it might look like you're trying to be superior to others. Plus, you also don't want to become a target for people who might want to just take advantage of your financial financial situation in a malicious way. So think about this. There are some elegant do's and don'ts that I want to share with you in my workshop, 10 brutal mistakes that show you're not elegant and how to fix these mistakes. In this workshop, I am going to give you those tools that you need to feel confident in any social surroundings and with people of any rank. So begin your elegance journey with this free workshop by going to 10elegancemistakes.com and sign up today for this workshop. Point number three. Elegant ladies never share their love life. And this one is quite individual because I don't think there is a right and wrong. This is all up to each individual. But in my opinion, I don't think it's wise to give a lot of information about your love life. And there are several reasons for that because first of all, you know, the typical female activity among girlfriends is to usually gossip about their men, maybe even about their sex lives, and generally speaking, discuss their relationship problems. And I have done this a lot myself in the past, but I actually stopped when I realized that this is private information that I think should be kept between the partner and, and yourself. Plus, it's also a matter of respect to the relationship and to the other individual. Plus, let's be honest, can you really trust everyone with your secrets and then imagine sharing those secrets that actually involves another person who is also the person that is closest to you in your life now doesn't that feel just wrong and disrespectful plus I also don't think it's of anyone's business what the couple do in private or what problems they have now I don't mind sharing some general things let's say about my relationship that shows that no relationship is perfect because it's okay to be vulnerable and it's okay to open up to the the world and to your close people. But I think when it comes to the point of airing really intimate information is where I personally draw the line. And I wouldn't do that unless there was this really necessary reason for me to get a second opinion on, or on something when usually, let's say, I would ask my therapist that rather than a girlfriend. But of course, if we don't have a therapist in our life, then sometimes you have to just trust at least this one girlfriend in your life that has good experience where you know that she's gonna give you some really good guidance. So then I guess occasionally that's fine. But again, this is just how I personally think. Number four, 
Elegant ladies never share someone else's confidential information. Now we all know that elegant ladies never gossip. And that's a rule I hope all of you ladies live by. But there are two types of gossip. There is idle gossip that everyone does, which is pretty harmless because that means you are speaking of another person in general in a neutral or in a positive way. Example is, let's say someone is asking how's Jane doing and you say that, oh, Jane is blah, 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 and she's up to blah, blah, blah. But then there is the malicious gossip. When you share someone's confidential information or let's say intimate details that someone has shared with you and you're now passing it on as a form of entertainment to your friends. Or even the worst ladies, when you hear some nasty rumors about someone and even though you never saw any evidence presented together with this rumor, you just assume that, well, if it's gossip, then it must be true, right? And then you keep passing this rumor on to other people and you present it as facts. Now, you see where I'm going, ladies. Malicious gossip in general is incredibly toxic and especially for your own karma because what you send out to the universe is what will come back to you. So you need to make sure that your conscience is clean, but you also need to think about what message are you sending to other people about your behavior? Because if that's how you talk about other people behind their backs, then imagine how you're gonna be talking about these people. Number five. Elegant ladies, they don't share their drama. And you know, drama, drama, drama. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Elegant ladies are not drama queens. Don't we all know that? But I also think that we might know at least one person who always brings drama to the table, into her life, and loves to make a social gathering all about this person's drama. Not a very refined activity, because think about it this way. Some people might feed on other people's dramas and just want to bring out the popcorn and start digging in, you know, because at least they shift the focus from their own misery in life to someone else's misery and it makes them feel temporarily good. But most people who are somehow stable in their life is draining for them. And it's also quite a negative experience. I do know that life is not drama free. So of course things are going to happen that will involve other people. And sometimes a social gathering can end up being about drama. But when someone is having these regular episodes of dramas, of crying, of negativity, I'm not sure you want to be that person because nobody's gonna take you seriously. If you have drama, that's fine, but pick your battles and make sure it's a rule for you that at a social event or gathering, you're not bringing in your drama to the table. Handle things in private the best you can. And if you really have to bring some drama, then make sure that it's just an occasional occurrence and not a repeated cycle that you're in. Number six, elegant ladies never share their controversial views. Now, one mistake that I keep seeing ladies make over and over again is when they're sharing their controversial opinions. And I'm talking about things such as religious, political, or socially taboo topics specifically. Because elegant ladies do not even approach these sensitive topics because they might offend the people around them and create a lot of friction. And the key of elegance is to really be mindful of other people. So you need to understand that it's okay to share your opinions. That is not the issue, but you have to, again, think about picking your battles and if the tone is right. Don't voice your opinion just like that. Think through things before you speak or at least read the room or read the surroundings to, to get a little feel. Would it be fine for me to say this in the surrounding right now? Number seven, elegant ladies never share their good deeds. I've spoken about how important it is to give back to your society, to the community, to the world somehow, by serving the community, by helping others, or let's say by donating money. However, we don't do this because we're then going to brag about it afterwards. We're doing this in private. We're doing it because it makes us feel good. It makes us feel that we're contributing to society, especially when we are privileged ourselves. But unfortunately, some people start boosting about it, which is not something I wish you, my dear elegant ladies, to do. So if you are giving to charity, then do so in private. Now, there are more things I want you to avoid saying. In my next video called 10 Things Elegant Ladies Never Say, go to that video because I will see you there.